welcome everybody to the Wine Ambassador Corporate Training. We got some great things to share with you about what is probably the best product on the planet that we could ever market be involved in. And two of our MSIs have put together a great presentation for you, which MSI Stacy Southward will be sharing with you now, right? That's correct. You know, and I, first of all, I want to just give shout out to Kathleen Metzler. She's the one that put this presentation together. And I actually feel honored that I'm the one that gets to do this because I'm going to learn a little bit more. And I'm going to start with sharing my screen because she did do this beautiful presentation. And. All right. Says I'm screen sharing. So. We all know that here at Wine Ambassador, we have Napa and Sonoma wines, right? Well, why? Why Napa and Sonoma wines? Why, Na why is it that region of California altogether? So let's take a look. First of all, a little bit about the vineyards of Napa. They're found from everywhere from the sea level all the way to about 2,400 feet. Well, it's in California. The Rocky Mountains are out there. The, you know, there's mountain ranges out there, guys. And if you compare it to like Spain and France and Italy, guess what? They have mountain ranges there too. And the hills, it's so beautiful to just look out and see these vineyards. Not that I've ever been there, I've only seen pictures. But Napa, I have been to, and it's just dreamy when you get there. But there's vineyards and wineries on top of the mountains with the rare volcanic soil underneath with the fresh ocean air running through the vines, it helps keep the grapes cool. And it just adds to the sophistication and elegance for the wines. Sonoma Valley um, is literally the birthplace of the California's modern wine industry. Now we're all taught, you know, we're all aware of prohibition and what it did to the wine industry in the United States. But in 2019, it was named the wine region of the year. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hang on. I have a gaming mouse and it has a mind of its own once in a while. Sorry about that. Um, but Sonoma County has the state's oldest premium winery, Buena Vista. And it's been the longest continuously operated family winery. And I hope I pronounce this correctly. Gundlach Bunshu. If I didn't, I apologize to their families now. Um, but it's on the Maya Camas mountain range. You guys, if you don't know the geographical area of Napa and Sonoma counties and, and the valleys, go take a look at it. You might be intrigued with all the different mountain ranges that are out there. Um, it's 50 plus miles of Pacific coastline. And you know, there are 19 American viticultural areas. Not that that means a whole lot to us, but it's important when it comes to the wine, okay? Um, we're all familiar with that 1976 was the bicentennial of America, right? Well, it was also, a time that marked one of our most influential points for food and wine. They had a tasting that forever changed wine and brought Napa Valley wine to the world. It was the brainchild of a British wine merchant, Stephen Spurrier. And although he passed away in March of 2021, he's made great contributions to the wine industry the biggest one, the most notorious one, was the event where French wines were found not to be better than Napa. Putting it another way, Napa wines beat out France on the wines. And that was a huge achievement because French wines are known for their high quality, the old world winemaking. And Napa beat them but there was only one journalist who even bothered to attend because they all thought France was gonna win. They didn't think that it was even conceivable that 
you know, California wines could beat this. Um, and they did a blind tasting in 1976. Judges were asked to grade it. And overall, the California wines won out. They even, um, I know Kathleen's got it in here that the judges are, were the best tasters in all of France. And they all chose the California wine over the French wine for both red and white. That's big. It, it knocked France off their pedestal on the wine championship aspect. Um, it ended the era that only fine wines could come from Europe. And do you guys know that this is one of the main reasons why the Europeans absolutely love California wines because they are a high quality. They did a 30 year reenactment in 2006. And again, it was organized by the same gentleman, Stephen Spurrier. And this time they did simultaneous tastings in both London and in Napa. Nine expert tasters at each location judged the original wet red wines that were now over 30 years old. And the winning wine in both the US and the UK was the Napa Valley wine. So why does Napa Valley create such great wines? Why is that important to us? Well, that's where all of our wines come from, you guys. Our club wines come from Napa Valley and Sonoma Valley. That is huge. And it's because the climate there is the perfect place to grow wine grapes. The Napa Valley enjoys a dry Mediterranean climate, very similar to France, Spain, and Italy. Napa it is America's most celebrated wine region. It's a huge tourist attraction. It's, there's always new places to go and see, but it's officially recognized for its high quality wines and in, in distinctive regional, um, I don't know that word, Tanya, sorry, terrier, um, terroir, I'll, I'll give up on there. You got, it's, it's right there. Um, where in 1981, it became California's first American AVA. What is AVA? What is American Viticultural Area? It's defined, it's a defined grape growing area having unique geographic or climat, climatic characteristics that set it apart from other areas. Having that kind of designation on wine labels helps consumers select wines they might like to buy and allow vintners to more precisely communicate the wine's origins to their consumers. Meaning they get to, they like to brag that this is a Napa Valley wine. This is a Sonoma Valley wine. It, it has a big meaning in the wine industry. There's a Napa Greenland program where more than 65% of Napa County vineyard land is enrolled or certified in that program. It's only one of four sustainable wine growing programs nationwide. Um, but what it means is that it's giving a pathway to growers to improve soil health, meaning the quality of the wines that are coming from the regions of Napa and Sonoma Valleys will continue for the foreseeable generations forward, have quality soil to grow quality vines to grow quality grapes. So, you know, every Labor Day, we have our big celebration in Napa Valley at our vineyard. And going to that, you need to put visiting Napa Valley on your bucket list. But more importantly, because that is the, the end of the presentation that Kathleen had done. Why, how can we use this in marketing our membership? Yep, good question. Tanya, you know, you're way more knowledgeable <laughs> than me. 
Yeah, this just a, that was a great presentation. So thank you, Kathleen. But um, you guys, and thank you, Stacy, for filling that in too. But you guys, just so you know, like I'm very passionate about I'm super passionate about wine. I like to always start our wine trainings with, "Hi, my name is Tanya, and I love wine," because I really do. I feel like there's no reason not to have it. But something that's great that that whole thing that we hit that she just hit on with us overtaking France was humongous because we were known as the new country. We didn't do things right. We, we didn't know what we were doing. And we did, they thought that our environment for, because the where we grow the grape is just as important. It's actually more important than anything. And so they didn't think we had the right growing environment here in the, in the, in the States, in America, to grow fine wine. Uh, and they just were snobs about it. And it shut a lot of them up. And now, that, like she was saying, a lot of them will drink it. I know I have friends all over the world and they will say, oh, Napa wine is amazing. It is. And people will ship it from Napa to their home anywhere. So when you go to Napa, there's lots of places where you can buy the wine and they'll ship cases to anywhere in the world, wherever you want it to go. So that is what is key here is that we have this and we're trying to open up more and more um, countries. And a lot of them we can, as long as it's a full case. We're having a few issues with our neighboring countries right now. But other than that, like we ship to UK and stuff, like we can do that. So it's really, it's really um, a great growing tool. It's also, I also want to state that not all Napa and Sonoma wines are the same. And we hit on this a little bit on our opportunity calls, but a lot of, uh, I guess, why the month clubs, they will, they will buy stock at the, the kind of the end of the barrel kind of wines and they'll sell that. We don't, we, we sell top quality wine. Um, and, you know, not all wine fits every palate, I like to say, because Wine is an acquired taste. You, you are training your tongue when you're tasting these things to um, experience the wine. Wine is, I like, it's a live, it's a breathable art is what we, Ray calls it, what a liquid art in glass. That's what it really truthfully is. And so, you know, people are like, I don't like this one. I don't like that one. There's ways to open it up and, and have it like, especially like there, we have some um, reds that are really, you know, they're very heavy or right but we need to let them breathe, let them open up. Maybe chilling, chilling them just a bit changes the flavor. I think it's okay to chill all wines, um, not forever, but even just putting them in the, the fridge for 30 minutes before you serve it, it does change the flavor. And it is amazing when we pair the wines with food, the way it changes as well. That's why it's so fun to come to the wine and dines and see the, what we're pairing and to, and to see get ideas. So I'm going to hit on a couple different things for how you guys can help your, your wine ambassador business grow. Um, and you guys, want, do you know that one of the top searches on Google are recipe pages? And we have this amazing tool called PBS, right? Our performance blogging page system. So you guys should always be writing pages and pairing wines and just you know, this is our wine club, this is, have a link to yours, sign up, and then, but share the pages. I'm constantly, I, I mean, if you've been cooking for years, like I have, you're always looking for new and fresh recipes, right? So if you go search it, and, and then if you find, I found actually searching for recipes, I have found our own pages, some some people here, and it's been so fun to look at, especially she, Sheila, she's, Sheila Match it. I don't know if she's, she's here, she might be doing another training, but I find hers all the time, you know, because she posts, she's continually posting ads and things, so Anyway, that's really important is make sure you're writing your recipe pages and including those pictures of the recipe of the and how you're pairing it. Um, it's just it's just something that's super fun. Also, I don't know if we talk a lot about like um, Pinterest, but you can have a Pinterest account as well. And you can post your, your wine and your photo and then and link the recipe page so that it tags back to your PBS. That's what is so amazing about the PBS system is it's so relevant for everything, right? Um, Anyway, there's also, we have another MSI here, Melissa, who, who she's, um, she's gluten-free. She can't have gluten. So she adapts recipes for gluten. And that is huge right now. Keto-friendly recipes, gluten-free recipes, they're, they're very highly searched, right? So if you have an intolerance at all, like a dairy intolerance or a gluten intolerance or sugar intolerance or whatever your intolerance is, be listing your recipe that way too and using the keywords, that will help it come, come there as well. And that wine pages, uh, recipe pages sell wine because they'll see your recipe, they'll want your recipe. And even if they don't sign up for the wine right away, they will come back and look at it again. And it takes, it does typically take people what they say 10 times before they'll buy so keep it fresh, keep it going, keep it coming. You want to attract that, that new business to you, right? 
So there's also another tool that I want to discuss about. If you guys go into your back office, we have wine tasting notes in there. Those are all my notes. Peter drives awesome up for me, but when we're doing the tastings, I'm, I'm tasting all the, I'm, I'm telling him what I'm tasting, what I would pair it with, what we'd cook it with. And he's writing those all down for you guys. So you guys could have, um, most of them are mine, some of them are his, but yeah, and Royce, we just have our own kind of sharing. We share with you guys our insight from, because we've been drinking wine since we were little. So, I mean, before it was illegal, but you know, that's because it was, it's, a, it's allowed for religious purposes and wine for an Italian family is very, is religious. Um, Anyway, so yeah, we would just, we've had a lot of experience tasting and developing our palates. So we share that with you and it's, it's there. You guys can find the wine pairing, the wine tasting notes in your back office. So that's also what can help you um, when you're right, trying to figure out recipes and things. Maybe it'll give you an idea. Maybe it says serve this with, um, you know, pasta, red pasta sauce. And then there you go. You can have recipes it, because really truthfully, um, we always say you should be spending uh, the time that you have for your PBS. 50% should be on content constantly 50% of your time should be on posting right that's that's the thing so if you set two hours a day whatever I maybe you don't let's just say let's say you have four hours a week that you spend on your PBS two of that should be for content two of it should be for posting ads you want to get traffic back to your site you know you want to help people developing your key keywords and getting better maybe attend a training on that that would that would also help we have lots of training here we do the training to help everybody so, but making sure that you're adapting the recipes to bring those people in, um, that's really, really important. A couple of places where I go, I, I'm sure we all do this, right? But I, I mentioned Pinterest, but also there's um, there's another site. It's I think it's called All Recipes, and they have people like us that just go in there and post their recipes. So, and did you know that you can do that? And uh, the great thing about that is that you can, um, if you see a recipe that you like, just so you know, for copyright content, if you change it 20%, it's considered yours. So make sure you're changing it and adapting it for you, but do that then share it. You guys, I never, I always take a recipe because I'm, I'm a huge cook. You guys, I always take a recipe as just a, a as a guiding point, right? I never follow a recipe completely unless I'm baking. Cause I'm not Linda. <laughs> Linda can do anything. She's magic. But, um, if it's, if it's, um, a cooking, it's just a jumping off point and you can switch it from there. And you, and you guys, I cannot tell you how many times I will go to cook. I'll put some light jazz in the background or whatever floats your boat. And for me, it's jazz. And um, I'll open a glass of wine. And I truthfully love to start by night with a lighter wine. I always say, I say that rosé, the rosés and some of the whiter wines, if, unless they're like the, like the Pinot Grige and um, I love Sauvignon Blanc. And okay, I could go forever. I like it all. But those wines kind of like start my night, right? They're the ones that started. I'll, I'll, I'll pour a glass of that and have that while I'm cooking and I'm breathing. I'm, I have a red breathing or whatever um, for the dinner, or maybe I'm not having, maybe I'm not pairing the red, but I'll, I'll have the glasses set. And, you know, it just, wine elevates your dinner. It elevates your night. It's just fan, fantastic. That being said, guess what else you get to do that will help our businesses grow? You get to have wine tastings. This is the time, my friends. This is the time to have parties, have wine tasting. It's so much fun to do the bags where you can just get like, even if it's just a sandwich bag and tie it at the top and put numbers on the bags and then have tastings and have the notes. Maybe have your friends raffle for a free bottle. You know what I mean? Like you can do things like that and then have them join. Don't give out too much because, you know, you want people will come there and just drink it all, <laughs> you know, within reason. But yeah, just that's just an idea for you guys. Like you can do something like that and have friends over. Um, and also you can get points for that too. FYI, wine tastings, you get points towards our, our, our Grand Cru event, our uh, Crush It event. So yeah, that's just, it's really, it's, it's really relevant. And if you're trying a new recipe, say, hey, maybe that's all you're going to do. I'm trying a new recipe, friends. Come on over. Let's try some of the wine with the recipe. Let's see what you taste. What do you taste? Maybe have a couple different wines to pair because there's always more than one option usually, I, I think. So anyway, that's one of the things we can do, especially this time. I do want to say with that, I think the next, for those of you guys who are hosting Wine and Dines, unless you've already had, unless you've already have your training ready, Rory wants me to start doing some holiday meals and pairings on Saturdays. So these trainings here, I'm going to start to show you guys just a few different ideas myself. And I hope that you guys will write pages on those, right? Take it and make it your own. Like anything that I share or Rory share, we share it with you guys so you guys can take it and make it your own. Invite people to them. 
especially our Wine Wednesdays, you guys, invite people to our Wine and Dines, the Wine and Dine show that we have. We're trying, we're making it fun. We're elevating it. It's, it's, it's just a fun thing. You know that we had uh, several instructors that came on here. They were nurses and they were working and this was their downtime was their one, the wine and dine Wednesdays. And we didn't know who they were, but they just joined, started buying wine. It's, it is relevant. Share it out there. Anybody can join. Anyone can be a part of that. Um, and we're just, like I said, we're elevating that all the time, making it fun, making it more, more accessible to everyone. Um, let's see what, what else, what else I can just, I can talk about wine all day, but even having like, like for, for instance, the, the tastings are is super important, but also the pages are just equally as important because you're going to reach audiences of people you don't know and make sure you're posting you guys keywords is, is, for, is key here. And also posting ads. You want to bring traffic to your site so that people can see and sign up. So, um, it's really, really important. Um, let's see. What else? I think those those are some of my notes, but I I can all, I can talk more about anything else. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys just utilize the tools that are that are there for you. Um, with Wine Ambassador, we have three things a week for one, that are Wine Ambassador related. We have our opportunity call, which is for those of you guys to bring new people. It's meant to bring new people for you, right? So that you guys can help everyone else understand because a lot of people get intimidated by our comp plan by comp plans in general ours is super easy because it's a binary if i can understand it anybody can i used to always make any presentation in the old days i used to make rory tell the comp plan part and i'd be like this is great this is why blah, blah 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 here's the comp plan go rory but i can even talk about the comp plan so it's it's very simple but bring people there if they're interested so they can see and understand why this is a great comp plan why it's a good company why it's an investment that's a tool for you guys. Not only that, then we have our wine and dines, which again, those are for you to bring new people. Also cook your meals. That's one of the exceptions to my previous training. Eat with us, taste your wine with us. It's fun. We want to see that. We want to have that excitement there. It's super exciting and fun. To, and, and then also you learn so much about the wines and pairing it and the tasting notes and what you're tasting, what you're experiencing. And again, you guys can take their pages, their recipes, tweak and make them your own, right? Try them yourself, write your experience about that. I love going to recipe pages and reading the experience with that recipe, what they tasted, what they did, what they had. There, there's nothing like that. So anyway, that's just a really good idea. This And then we have this training as well. This is the third, another thing we have here for you guys, this training, just to help your business grow. You can bring new people who are looking to, to join, or you can just, if you're not, that's okay. But the other two are more relevant for new people, for sure. This is more for us, for you guys, to how to help you grow, how to give you ideas, education on wine and education on, on you know, making yourself work, making the best time and the use of your time to make it work for you. Also, I don't know if any of you guys know, know this, but we have a Facebook, Wine Ambassador has a Facebook account and they have an Insta, Instagram account. It's Wine, wine, uh, wine Ambassador Direct is our Instagram. And then we have Wine Ambassador and Wine Ambassador Direct on Facebook. Every day, Monday through mon well, Monday through Saturday, we have a, a post up there that you guys can share that. Like you can share it and send it out to your people. It also, so we, we pay for graphics to be made for you guys to use, right? This is a tool for you. So when, when we do the post, you guys can share that out on your Facebook or on your Instagram. So share, share and, and join that comment let's and, and uh, help people there we're trying to grow that so that you guys can use that as a tool it's all for you guys everything's for you guys to do so those are some huge things that we have to help us in, in the back in the background of wine um let me see what, what else you guys also make sure that you're doing desserts with wine um, and then the wine and dines on the, the last part of the hour, Rory or I are going to start doing some tastings with different things to help you guys as well. So if you're joining the wine and dine on Wednesdays, those that last little bit of after the cooks have cooked and they tasted their wines, will help you guys with different pairings and different things as well. Like Rory did a chocolate pairing with, with some wines. I think he's done a tobacco one as well. I, we have all different kinds. I have different, I'm gonna be doing holiday desserts and, and, and different things like that as well. So just make sure that when you're on there, that you stay that last little bit because there's gonna be different tasting, different ideas for you as well. Again, these are all tools that we're trying to help stock you up to help you guys grow and be better. Um, and also I'm very willing to take um, notes. If there's something you guys want me to do or cook or show, I'm very willing to, to include that for you. I want to help you grow. So whatever would work. 
If you want to host a, an online wine tasting, you want me to be there, I'll be there. I'll be drinking right with you. So just, you just have to get with your, your MSI and let me know. But yeah, so it's just, we're always there to help you grow and, and to push forward. But I can't stress enough how important it is. Like I said, you guys, when I look, when I looked research recipes, I have found Sheila a lot. She's a good posting lady. She posts all, all the time and she brings traffic to her site. So it's super, super important. So let's see what, what any other tips and tricks I'm, I'm trying to think of. Cause I, like I said, oh, also, you guys, your, when your background of, of your um, of your videos, if you want to have any of our amazing, this is our Grand Crew box. This is when you become a Grand Crew. This is what you get. It's not only a beautiful wooden box; it's filled with our Grand Crew wine, right? And if you look around, you can't see it the way it's angled, but around the side, it has our labels, it has our names on, around the side of it. It's a beautiful marketing tool. So even when you're having the hosting, having the things there that will help set you up for success, that's one of them. That's a great tool to have. And have there also like I said we have the tasting notes if you happen to be tasting those those wines maybe print them out on a little card to have so people can and see what they're trying if you're not doing the blind tasting that is that's a great thing I, I'll print out like a little paper or you can laminate a little card and have a set there you guys also please check those tasting notes because they do change with the new wines that are coming out so they're not always there they're just going to be there with the new wines that are coming out so I, I recommend checking them once a month to see if they've updated um, and check and see what's what's in there a couple times a month or whatever, just to make to see if they've updated and to kind of get those notes and and download them and pick and save them for you. So yeah, because as we change wines, wine is not the same. Even if it's the same varietal with the same label, wine is never the same. It goes with how much sun they've had, how much rain they've had, what's in the soil, what what they used to you know fertilize the soil. Um, what also the smoke, the smoke that happened in the fires that happened in Napa. And so that will greatly affect wine production and the taste of it. Some of the wines that you'll get after a smoky year will have more of that smoky taste to it. And they're beautiful though, but there's just difference. Um, there's pictures of the wines, the grapes, excuse me, with ash all over them. And yeah, that was, that's a, it's a real thing. So anyway, so just make sure you're, you're realizing that nothing stays the same. Even we have the, we had a lot of success with our first Rickard uh, Merlot. We have the new one now coming out and it's different. It's good, but it's different, right? It's the same winemaker, the same varietal, the same grapes from the same farmer, but it's just going to be a little bit different. Um, there's just so much that, you know, it just so much that goes into the background of it. So yeah, make sure you're, you're utilizing that tool as well. Um, let me see what else we do have. We do have a couple other things, but I really, I really think I can't stress enough, especially with the holidays, the recipes. And the posting that I can't stress that enough, you guys. How many? I don't know how many of you guys are planners like me. I plan out my whole entire. I, I'm already planning in 2024. That's that's just my that's my personality. But I'm planning my holidays right now. The parties, the recipes, the different things we're going to do and we're going to have. And I'm planning out my meals. I plan out my whole meals around from the in time the kids are coming over. My kids. I plan it all. I have it all planned out. So I'm searching constantly, even now, for those holiday recipes. I know a lot of people aren't like me, so that's okay. They're not like, you know, excessive on the uh, time scale. But so they're probably going to be searching, you know, a little bit later on. But get them now. Anything with pumpkin right now and pairing is perfect. Pumpkin cookies. So it's You guys, it's pumpkin spice season, and it's a thing. People go crazy over it. Pumpkin cookies, pumpkin breads, pumpkin pie. Um, I have, there's a, pump, there's a pumpkin cake dessert that I used to make that people used to love. Um, there's that one, you know, there's all that kinds of stuff. Pumpkin soup, squash soups, different things that are relevant for October, right? Um, and you can even use that as a keyword if you wanted to. So there's all different kinds of ideas and things like that. Um, I, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know. If I can, should I keep going, Stacey? I don't know. Am I helping anybody? Yes, you're. I, I'm seeing everybody. I'm, I'm. I was kind of going through the screens. You know, you said you don't do that. I do, and I'm seeing a lot of people looking down. So they're obviously got their pen like me too, and taking notes like me. Um, that all recipes thing. No one's ever said. Uh, I'm. I'm just creating a note here. <laughs> Good. My, my me time. It's. I'm going to be going to all recipes and checking it out and. Yeah. And I think it even, they even have an app, I think, but that I've used before as well. But I just, 
you know, as a, as a young mom, you, especially you're trying, you're trying to juggle things. I'm a slow cooker queen as I uh, self-proclaimed, but you guys, I worked a lot of hours. I had to go very, I worked, um, I live mountain time, but I worked East coast hours. So I'd be going in before my kids were awake. It was good though. Cause I got off in time to pick them up from school, but I was trying to hurry and feed them and then get them going wherever we were going, football, dance, soccer, basketball, baseball, wherever we were going, I was madly rushing around. So you know, slow cooker recipes are huge. I know a lot of people that live off of those and I can adapt any recipe like this to a slow cooker meal. And those are great. Those are great keywords. I'm always looking for those. And I know other people are. And, and especially in the fall, you guys, the fall is where people bring out their slow cookers because they want the soups and the stews and the chilies. And maybe you have a white chicken chili or you'll have a, a spicy uh, Tex-Mex chili with some cornbread or, you know, there's all different kinds of, of chilies as well. Um, and people are always looking for new and exciting recipes of that. But, and let me tell you, wine goes amazing with spicy chili. I think wine goes amazing with anything though. <laughs> but what wine do you have? And then I'll come over. That's pretty much what I have to say. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that's just the time. So slow cooker is another, another great thing. Um, and I already, I think I already mentioned desserts, baking, different baking things. There's uh, cookies, Christmas cookies and wine. And it's, I used to, I used to be a part of that as a, it was a mom's club and we did, we'd all make a cookie, do this with your friends, you guys, and, and then blog about it. We'd each make our own individual Christmas cookie and we'd get together and we'd all give eat everybody a, a little bag of a couple cookies, right? And then you go home with a whole bunch of different cookies, depending on how people, how many people are there, but we would bring them and pair them with our wines too. And it was, it was great fun. Bring a bottle of wine and a, and a, and a plate of cookies and we'd give some out, but then we'd have a few for tasting. And it was a lot of fun. And it was just also a night away. So that's a great tasting party idea, guys, um, if you want. That's just, it's just a fun one. Also right now is candy, right? Just everyone bring a bag of store-bought candy and let's have some wine and, and, and enjoy. Light a few candles, maybe have a foot massage. Sign up for my wine club. You know, it's just, there's all those kinds of things. Anything goes with a wine. Like I said, even a, like a spa night. Have, I used to have um, a nail tech come to my home and do pedicures for everybody and have people taste my wine and buy. That's what I used to do. So anybody, you could, that's a great idea as well, just to do that and then, and then write about that. So there's anything, football. I, I, I told you, I'm drinking wine on football. I'm a football girl. I love football. Football is, is, a, is a passion as well. But I'm drinking wine. Wine is my thing at the football game. What, and then, you know, pizza and wine. Great combo, by the way. I highly recommend a, a Pinot Noir. Just saying, but um, have that right that right about that football, wine, and pizza, or wings, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Sometimes the whiter, like a shark, the spicy wing with a little bit lighter of the wine, it really complements each other. A little bit sweeter of a wine, so have that and and, and write about that. There's so many things. It's the oppor the opportunity and the and the options are endless. Um, there's just so many different ideas. But the knowing the Catholic, going back to Kathleen's presentation that she had that Stacy get helped give, knowing the value of the product that you have, which is a high quality wine from Napa or Sonoma Valley only. And we, we do not, we do not thin it out. We do not mass produce. They are boutique wines. We're buying from individual farmers. We have our own, but we also buy from individual farmers there. We support the, the environment and the economy there as well. And that's really important. If any of you guys are into buying local, I am a big believer in buying local um, and buying and, and helping support the farmers in my area. And this is, you know, they don't grow, they don't make wine where I live. And if they did, I don't know that it would be that good, but they do there and that's close enough, you know, that's close enough for me. And um, also just, to know we can ship anywhere except for the wine obviously this the no ship states but some states and i want to make sure i tell you guys this they have to ship a case right it saved well we don't have to but it saves a lot of money on shipping for you guys if you live in alaska or hawaii or um let's see where else there's a there's a couple others i think but oh puerto rico is one i can't my, my brain's a little fried i can't think of everything but so what that means is you pay for the three months because you're only paying for four bottles. And at the third month, it ships the case. 
So just keep in mind, you can we can sell it anywhere. We can have people sign up in, in Hawaii and then just make sure, please educate them to know this is what's going to happen. They're going to get their initial shipment, their sign up shipment, and then they'll pay the three months of their monthly auto ship, their smart ship, and then it will ship. So it's just, it's about that as well. Making sure people are Alaska. Did I say Alaska? Alaska is one. I, I know because they, they, they send me questions. When am I going to get my wine? And that's a great thing, you guys. That's my biggest question here with Wine Ambassador behind the scenes. Where's my wine? Where am I, when am I going to get it? So, and so I'm, I will cut, I will hit on a few um, housekeeping items there. You guys, it just, in the, in the summer times, it just takes longer because we ship refrigerated. So if they go to lot, look and see their tracking and it just says, says uh, printed, that means it's no longer with UPS. It doesn't mean it's just sitting there waiting to be shipped. No, no, no. We ship them all the time. It means that it's left UPS so that because so the tracking won't update until it goes back into UPS. And sometimes I've had a couple of questions where the wine will be delivered hot or warm. It's okay because it was only in that window. It's only taken off the refrigerated truck the day it's delivered. So it's okay. Wine can handle it. It won't, it won't, it won't hurt you. Just obviously don't drink it hot. Let it come back to room temperature. Don't put it right in the fridge. Let it come back to room temperature and then put it in your wine fridge, wine fridges there or your fridge, whatever you want to do. And then before you open it, right? Let it come back to itself after it's been, then heat if it's been warmed. But now there's, so shipping delays are bigger because the, the refrigerated trucks doesn't, they don't pick up as every other weekend usually. That's just the way that they run it. So it does take a little delay. So make sure you make sure you're aware of that. And don't stop yourself from growing by not being there for your wine. You know when your wine's going to be delivered. You can go into your smart ship and on the bottom, it'll say hold wine, which means you'll still be billed so you won't lose any of the commission, but it won't ship your wine until you uncheck that. So there is, a, there is an expense, you guys. When your wine gets sent back to us, it's not on the refrigerated truck. So sometimes it's destroyed. We have to, destroy, we have to throw that out, just so you guys know. So when people say, oh, I missed it, ship it, ship it back, there is an expense. We do allow a one-time reship fee for errors that happen. Sometimes things happen, but you guys are responsible to make sure that you put that on hold when you're not going to be there. And that if it's coming, that you guys make sure you know when it's going to be delivered. You can download the, the UPS My Choice app and have somebody that's over 21 be there to get it if you're not available and it's already shipped. Or see if you can arrange with UPS. Sometimes, not all states, but sometimes they'll hold it for you at their location, you can go pick it up in a day or two. They've done that before too. So, you know, this is while the wine is amazing in and of itself and just to drink, if this is also your business, so you want to manage your business prop appropriately and you don't want to not get it because that's tastings you're missing, right? And what if you're waiting to use it because you want to cook on the wine and dine, and then you then you don't have it now to pair. So those are just a couple of, of, of very important things to note about Wine Ambassador. You just have to make sure and, and oh, also, you guys, it is a computer system. So when anyone sends it, submits a ticket and it says, you did this and this. No, I, I really didn't. I promise you. I don't go, ha, 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 ha. I'm going to hack into this person's account and ship them wine, even though they put it on hold. No, it, I didn't. It means it wasn't put on hold before it was shipped. The, the, shipping, the shipping thing was already sent over to our shipping company before it was placed on hold. Okay, it's just, it's a computer system. It does what we tell it to do. So, I mean, there are some errors sometimes, but. I have rarely, almost every time I've went to, to go look, it's, I, can, I can go into the back office and I can see when you put it on hold and I can see when the shipping invoice went out. And they are always usually the, either the same day, so the other one's already gone, or they're like after, the day after. Usually that's what happens. So, and when I cancel your account, they don't magically keep charging you. That's, don't cancel. Because guess what? The great thing about this organization is you have an instructor that's building one side. That's why we tell you about the, the opportunity calls. That's why it's so important. It's because you have somebody that's above you that's building and growing one leg. All you've got to do is start helping them grow. And then when you're ready, build the other leg. That's when the income comes in. That's why, that's why a binary is so great. For years, I worked one that was like this. And you, you had to work like 100 different lines. And it was just really, really hard and awkward. But this is just two legs. And then when you get bigger and you get other leaders and other legs, and because sometimes you'll get, you have your right and your left. And when you're huge, 
your left leg, you'll have somebody that's a break off of someone that's growing like crazy. Then you can commit to helping them because you're in management mode. You can help that. But I'm, I'm very passionate about wine. Can you guys tell? I love me a glass of wine. <laughs> um, and I, it's just beautiful as well. And there's something to be said about that. Pictures of wine in a glass is just stunning. But make sure you guys use the tools that we've given you guys here, that we have a lot for you. You never have to sell, you never have to talk about the comp plan if you don't want to, just bring them to the Monday call. If you don't know how to pair wines, it's okay, bring them to the Wednesday call. You know, we're, we're here to help you. If they're newbies and they don't know how to grow, bring them here. That's what we're here for. We're here to help grow. We want everyone to be successful. We want to make Wine Ambassador the best uh, wine of the month club there is. With that being said, keep in mind that we're not selling wine. We're selling a wine club membership. Because if you're selling wine, you need a license. We don't do that. Wine Ambassador has the license. You guys are just selling the club for Wine Ambassador, right? So yeah, you're not selling wine. You're not doing that. And there is options for a non-ship for religious reasons or if you're in states that don't ship. But you have to get a special a special um co a special link for that one and and this it won't work twice is what i'm trying to say so you can't use it for one they think you can use it for another one so you have to you'll have to get that and that has to go through your msi and through Roy and i specifically so anyway anything, anything stacy nile anything i missed anything you guys want to add and tabulous you know you talked a little bit about the comp plan and a lot of people are afraid of comp plans or try to get in there and study that and i've done those ones that you were talking about that went mm -hmm. forever wide and never went down and th that's i didn't understand the binary the two-team system but once Rory took the time to to explain that to me and how we build the teams and how we help each other build each other's business and it's just uh there's, there's they should all be that way every company should have that model um and Usually they're kind of difficult to understand, but wine ambassadors is so easy really to understand. Good. And if you don't want to study comp plans, here's what I tell people. If you're just a customer here, hey, you just added luxury to your life. These wines are fantastic. You know, enjoy being a customer. But if you became an ambassador so you could promote the business and make money, then you should know that comp plan that Tanya was just talking about. And you don't have to know every little digit, just know here's the, the two main features of that comp plan. If you refer three customers, your wine's free every month. Just takes three customers, your wine's free every month. That means your overhead is gone. Tanya, how many other businesses out there do we have where we can run that we don't have some kind of overhead? Yeah. It's just unheard of. Three customers, the wine's free. And then it only takes two or three people to become ambassadors the way you did and you've recovered your initial investment too. So now we have no initial investment and no overhead. There's nothing out there like that. Nothing like that, yeah. That's that's nothing. why my ambassador does it though, is because we are like you. We make money when you make money. We don't take checks. And we have worked like this for years. For years, we've done it. We've been in the field. We've been belly to belly. We've done all the things that we've done the, the cold calls or the hot calls. We've done them all. Roy and I have. So we yep. can understand what it is to have boots in the ground running and trying to grow, grow and sell. And so that's why we've made the most lucrative is that we can. That's why we give you so much of the initial sign up because we want you to, under, to recoup your costs immediately and enjoy the wine. So that's, you know, it's, it's, it's such an amazing thing. And even a customer can refer customers and get their wine free. Yep. Oh my goodness. Nothing like it. And you know what? And until they hit that point, Tanya, when they got their initial investment recovered and their wine is free every month, what they are purchasing, the wine they get to enjoy every month is a tax deduction. Mm -hmm. It's a cost of doing business. There's just, you know, that's what I, you say, hi, I'm Tanya. I love wine. Hi, I'm not. I love wine. And I love the wine business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very true. I like it all, my friends. I'm yep. just loving it. Um, and you know what? Now's a pretty good time to, uh, if, if you don't have your three customers, now is like the perfect season to everybody's looking to sell it for celebration, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. It's all, this is the time of year to really promote your wine. And if you don't have three customers, just make it, write it down today. Just put it on a piece of paper, write it down. I'm going to do everything in my power to find those three plus customers 
to make sure my wine's free and I'm starting to show nothing but profit. Set up 2023 the best you can by making your mind up right now in the right season, the perfect season, mm -hmm. start promoting the best wine on the planet. I think so. You guys, I travel with my wine. I have a wine suitcase and I travel with my wine. Nice. Or, or unless, I, unless I'm going to ship it where I'm, if I'm going to be someplace for quite a while, then I'll, I, I'll ship it. But for the most part, I have a wine, a wine suitcase. It holds six bottles. It can hold 12 if I want the whole thing. It has the foam and everything. Yeah, that's how much yeah. I believe uh, wine. And guess what? When I'm traveling and having that wine, do you know how many customers Roy and I have gotten because we've been at the pool having a glass and someone's like, oh, what is that? Oh, here, let me talk to you about it. No, it's just all relevant. It's always, people love wine. They want to talk about it. It's not, it's not um, um, like over, overshadowing. It's not scary, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. It's not scary at all. It's just fun and it creates a fun environment. So it's really, it really is irrelevant. And that's why it's our number one anchor offer. It is relevant. It is, it is important. Um, so, yeah. Pull up a chair, have a seat, pour yourself a glass. Yeah. How about that? And then they'll ask, where is it from? What, what varietal is this? Or what, what kind of wine is it? Some people don't know, but they want to know. Everyone wants to learn. So, and anyway. so I've, I've traveled the world with you and Rory, Mexico, or even all around this country. And I've seen that firsthand. She really does have that suitcase. Most of us get to a hotel or resort and, oh yeah, you can take all those, but leave me this one. It's my backpack. Well, hers is the beautiful suitcase with all the wine in it. It's yeah. delicious. And then, and no matter where we're at, somebody's seen us enjoy wine and they want to be a part of that. Share, share, yeah. share, share. And I've always had that mentality. Like I know you have and Rory has. I don't like to sell, but I love to share. Yeah. Yeah. Sharing is caring. <laughs> That's what they say. But I just had a comment about, I just saw it from the Skype chat, actually, <laughs> that said, does the, does the um, airlines allow that? It, you can check it. Absolutely, you can. You can absolutely check your wine, especially if it's properly stored. I, you know, how, have you guys ever been to the, waiting for your suitcase and all of a sudden you smell whiskey or something because it broke in the suitcase? <laughs> and it's like, all there's a suitcase that's sopping wet or leaking. Yeah, I've seen that before. Just store it properly. But yes, you can check it. It's just the problem is when you're going from country to country, right? You're allowed two bottles per person. So that's when that's when you're going, that's when it's different. But in the US, US anywhere, yeah, you can check it and go anywhere you want to go. I don't I don't know Canadian rules, so you'd have to ask uh, our resident Canadians there. <laughs> but Joel, that'd be up for you. But anyway, I don't know about that. But I know in the US, yeah, you can check as much as you want. I've I've sent 12 packs. Rory has sent boxes. You can send a, like ship a box. And they just do it on the like larger packages delivery and it's already shipped. It's already packaged. And he just, they put our label on it and they ship it through this like regular suitcase, but it's a box and it goes out where the, the oversized go like for, for Utah it's skis where the skis are, that's where the wine comes out. So yeah, you can definitely do that. You can definitely ship it anywhere. Let me take it with you anywhere. And just I don't do carry on with it. You cannot yeah. carry your wine on. Cannot carry it on. No, 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 no. And no. I've even taken it to Mexico, you guys. I've taken, yeah, those are great. And they're this, so inexpensive. Yeah. And they're reusable. Mm -hmm. They're reusable. And I mean, I took this to Hawaii and, and yeah. other places with wine. Yeah. The other trick is if you don't have this, tuck it, um, put a bottle in your pant leg and roll it up in that and it will be just fine in your checked bag one bottle yeah work for me <laughs> yeah. I, I have no problem with that I, I have obviously I have a my suitcase has one you can pull out the inserts right or you can buy inserts for your suitcase if you want to but yeah it's great take a picture of that blog about that you guys that's fun that's fun travel tips with wine that would go there's a page for y'all miss Sheila get it done where is she? She's probably, <laughs> she's probably already done with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but it's just, it's really fun. I'll pull out one insert and put, you know, cause I have to have some clothes. So clothes, but I value my wine. I'll take my six bottles of wine and clothes on one side. Yeah. Then I, then it's great too, because on the way back, guess what? There's room for other stuff because there's wine's been drank. So there's room for, you know, gifts for my grandkids to come home to. So yeah, I, and I, like I said, I, they, they let you take it to Mexico too, you guys. So I've taken four or five bottles to Mexico, no problem. They don't care. They just, they just care what you're taking out, right? They'll look through your suitcase, what you're taking out. Like you can only take so much 
other liquor. I'm not going to say it here because we care about wine, but there's other liquor that you can take. You only take so much, but wine, I've never had a problem. We've always, Joy and I have always showed up with a couple, at least a couple bottles of each suitcase with us. And it's been, they've never, ever stopped us. So um, yeah, great fun. You guys love wine. Wine's amazing. Wine is you know, awesome. One wine. other thing, sorry to interrupt you there, Tanya, but one other resource a lot of you are not taking advantage of, and that's your enroller or your instructor, get a three-way. You get somebody that's got questions and you have talked till you're blue in the face with all the facts that you know, and you're frustrated and you're just ready, you need an entire bottle to calm down, reach out to your instructor or your enroller because sometimes other people can edify that. And, and it just, it's right. like, you know, they'll say the same things that you've been saying and you're just pulling your hair out and they go, oh, oh, well, because you said it, not my best friend that I've known Susie for 30 years. I can't trust her. Not, you know, it, that's how it seems like it's going down, but utilize us. Just, you know, make an appointment. Don't just assume that your instructor is going to be or enroller is going to be available because we need to respect the schedules, but say, hey, let me see when, when I can get, you know, my instructor, my MSI on the phone and maybe they can answer some of your questions that I don't know the answers to. Yes. And that's, that's great. That's why we have that. And you have that two up system. I don't know if you've ever, if you've ever heard my husband do that at entry call, like he'll meet with somebody and say, I'm your two up. If you can't get a hold of them, I'm here for you. Well, I'm only the two up to a couple of people, Andy Perryman and Niall Eddy. <laughs> So if they sign you up and you need a two up, I'm your woman. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I can always talk about wine and I, and I honestly will help any MSI, anybody that needs it, I'll help them. So, and, and I think if somebody's too shy to ask them to be their, their, whoever they have at their wine social to ask them to be customers or think about joining. I know myself, Tanya, Stacy, all the other MSIs, we would not have a problem saying, you know, um, let me pick a name. Monty would really love if you would help support his business and help him grow by becoming a customer and helping him promote the wine to other people. So, so I, true. I don't have a problem asking for you. I know Tanya would, I know Stacy would, I know Linda would. Yep, I know all the MS and, and anybody that's been around for a little, a couple months. And you guys, especially if it's your friends and family, sometimes they're going to, it's harder for you to ask. It's not for us. And they want, they actually do want to support you. Just so you know, they do want to support you. My, um, my uh, daughter-in-law, her mother drinks wine, not the kind that doesn't come in a glass, a glass jar. Oh, I hate it. But even she signed up to support her daughter. And then she's like, hey, these are, these are pretty good wines. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they are. <laughs> it's amazing. She, but she was so confused because it didn't taste the same every time she bought it. She got a bottle. Like it was different, right? It's supposed to. It's not supposed to taste the same. If it tastes the same, they're not making it correctly. And it's called a punch, not real, a real wine. So there's where some education comes in. But yeah, that's so great, Nile. It's so true. If you're having a wine tasting online, especially, invite us. We will be happy to help promote you and help and help sell. And then sometimes that's what we used to do that tapping up. Remember, Nile, where you'd you'd call your the person above you and they would help promote you. They'd give the answers and then help you. We used to do that all the time because that's would help with sometimes it's hard for you to ask your, especially your warm market, your family and your friends. The third party verification works because why? We say it all the time. It's hard to be a king in your own backyard. Yep. <clears throat> and let's not forget, even Jesus had a hard time getting his own people to listen to him. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't think you're better than him. Yeah. That's so true. Amen. Yep. Good. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely, you guys. Travel with your wine. Take it with you. Share it everywhere you go. I do. And I, I travel all the time for work. Yep. So. It's, it's amazing. Share it, have wine tastings, include us, do online socials. That's totally fine. And we love, we love it all. I, I love everything there has to do with wine and I can answer any questions that y'all need. So just be here. I'll, and uh, the next couple of uh, Saturdays as well, I'm going to show you some different uh, holiday dinner ideas with wine and I will be happy, happy to answer any questions then. So I'm so looking forward to that. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you both so very, very much. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, end this recording right now, right? Yeah.